Right, so it's finally here, the new update to Inventor, All the Twos, 2022.2. We're going to go through all the new features, and remember, go to it quickly, because it's fast tips for fast lives. Trademark. Okay, bill of materials. First thing, we can now select multiple things. So I'm going to pick multiple cells here and just type in bits apart. I don't know. Fills them all in with what I want. Also, I can select multiple cells, press delete, gets rid of them all. Magic. Next thing for assemblies, if we've got a derived part, so this one's derived, we can switch to the modeling tab and we can now open the base component directly from the assembly. Magic. Next thing then, drawings. Got this lovely part. So if I want to add center marks to these holes, I can now window select them. Boom, check that out. I want to edit um, a leader or a welding note surface marks. We can now double click anywhere on this leader and it brings up the edit box. Look at that. Right, parts. New thing in parts, got this lovely multi-body part. We're going to add a new solid to it. New solid. I can now name that solid straight away. There we go. And it's now named it here. I can also, if I've got sketch blocks, we can now reorder them. You couldn't do this before. And here's a feature I've never ever used. I can't even find it half the time. Here it is, rotator angle. Someone who likes rotator angle, you can now pan and zoom without closing the box. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Enhancement for people who like to do multi-bodies. Of course, once you've done it, we're going to go to Manage, Make Components. Before we couldn't choose surfaces, we can now select them. We can also go in to the browser and pick things that are hidden. So I've got a hidden solid. I can now select that to do my Make Components. Go into Sheet Metal. So before, if you click Face when there's no sketch, you get an error message. We now go directly into the sketch environment. So I can do myself a lovely face here. Beautiful face. Here it is. Okay. Something else we can do now. They've improved the punch tool. Let's put a few points in here. Let's pick a punch. Knockout. Ah, look at that. Knockout. Anyway, so now we have this preview, which wasn't there before. And we change things like the geometry in here. It updates it as well on here. Look at that. Knockout. Anyway, another thing they've done, which I can't really show you, is they've improved the way it computes the punch. Go back to multibody. With iLogic now, we can select multiple rules in here and we can suppress them. Just using shift there. Or we can even just delete them all. can now rename using enter and escape which you couldn't do before so enter just or if I do something I don't want it escape comes out of it now big overhaul in the iLogic here if I actually open the editor lovely dark theme going on so there's a few things to note in here the first one is we can use control F now for searching we use control shift and F, we get this search and replace. Do something wrong, can undo it. These weren't there before. Can now filter in our snippets here. There we go. I can also expand and collapse. Now we could do this before, but every time you close this window, it would expand them all again. I can also put my cursor here, for instance. So I'll save this, close it. When I go back in, it remembers what was collapsed. And it also remembers that I was editing on this line. Now, also, if I close Inventor, it will also remember what's collapsed and what's expanded, but it won't remember which line I was editing. And of course, if you've noticed this already, we've now got line numbers. Look at this. Do not adjust your sets, but it gets even better. Watch this, viewers.
Oh no, it's an error. But look, error on line three. Oh my goodness. Just saved about three hours of every day. This has got to be the greatest update ever since Inventor was invented. Check that. Oh my god, I just want to look at it a little bit longer. Right, moving on. I ain't got a Fusion Electrical model to show you, but they've much improved now when you import from Fusion into Inventor how that's displayed. You've got to turn on your meshes though to get it to work. There's also this upchain, which I can't show you because I don't have an upchain um, subscription. Upchain is basically a new PDM tool for Inventor, which will help you to manage stuff, particularly if you've not got a vault or anything. You can get all your bills and materials together. You can send stuff out for quote. It looks really cool. It's one of the um, newer acquisitions from Autodesk. And um, you can now embed that window directly in Inventor. Another thing they've done, they've improved the translators. So if you use NX, JTs, or Step 242s, um, the translators for them are much improved, as well as surfaces in DWFX. There's only one more thing that I haven't mentioned, and that is the design assistant can now edit and copy assemblies with model states. Check that out, loads of new stuff just for a service update. I think that's pretty awesome, really. <laughs>